Hi, I'm Daniel Mettler from TUSIC Internet Solutions, the maker of TUSEXI. And in this short video, I would like to show you how to use the brand new string dropdown query input field to actually provide an input field which a user can use to select SQL data. So I'm going to use it showing this uh, demo app which you can download for yourself. And I'm just going to walk you through how it actually works. So I'm going to go into the configuration and first going to show you what the user experience is. In this specific case, I'm going to pick a few portals. So I'm going to say, okay, these are my favorite portals. And now I can select portals from this system. And this is very simple to do and I can save it. What you'll notice that in the background, if I look at the list of this that I just selected is I have the portal IDs in this value. Now here's how it's done. I have a query, which is, let me just find this, this SQL data source here. And it's a very trivial data source. So if I hit play here, you can see I'm just getting a bunch of items. Each portal is described as a result. And the query itself is a SQL data source, which just delivers this SQL query. It's actually the default demo query, which you get when you try the SQL data source. So this source delivers all the items and gives me the portal ID, the home directory and stuff like that, and will deliver it. Let's just hit it again as items that have this structure here, a title, a portal ID, a home directory and the title. So this one's the entity title, like the official one. And this is the, the just a title field for use. Now to make this available in the string dropdown query, I will go back into the data and configure the pick some portals um, content type. So I have a field here called portal ID, should probably be called portal IDs because I have multi-select. And when I created it, I said it's a string dropdown query, which is the one, if you hit a new one, let's say, I would say this is a string, but it's a dropdown from a query. So that's how you would create it yourself. And if I look at the configuration here, I can just go inside it and I have various things. I can have a nice label, but here's the important one. Here's the one where I would say this is the SQL data source. That's what it was called in my, uh, in over here. And let's look again what the fields are that come out, right? I have a title and an ID and I would like to save the ID and I would like to use the title to show which portal I'm talking about, right? So here you can see this one is called demo raisers, learn tokens, etc. So I will go to the advanced settings and say the value field is the ID and the label field is the title. I could add parameters here in case the query would expect them, but I'm going to skip that. And I'm also going to say that I have multi select that I can choose more than one item. And as a separator, let's just for demonstration, use a dash in this case. So the portal ID is configured basically the same way. That's the one you just saw. And this is the new one I just made. So let's just try this again. I'm going to make another one. And this is the one that worked before. And I now have the one that I just configured for this demo. And this one is going to be comma separated. This one's going to be minus separated. So I'm going to save this. And I'm going to go and look at the data and you can see this one's hyphen separated and this one's comma separated. So that's how you can use a string dropdown query. You can do really amazing stuff with this and then um, just take data from anywhere. It can be from a CSV, from an Excel, from a SQL data source. It can even be from normal items in those situations where you don't care about the relationship, but just about a value that the user selected. So thank you for watching. I'm Daniel Mettler from TUSIC Internet Solutions, and you can download this very app from the Too Sexy app catalog. Let me just show you, this is, um, let me just make the browser a tad smaller. Um, from Too Sexy org apps. You'll find it here by the time I post this blog. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.